you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, no, never mind about that. Um, you'll be wanting an update on the MK Maker 1, won't you? Again, goodness me, it's been so long since uh, I looked at uh, doing a video about the MK Maker 1. And why is that? Well, it's because um, uh, there's so many factors, actually. Uh, one is the 3D printer that I built for myself is not the, the best. Um, and I have yet to get the next one uh, going. Um, and so just, uh, you know, there is a requirement for precision in some of the parts that I've been working on. I have done a lot of work in sort of just rationalizing, as you can see, this I've now got a folder. Ooh, MK Maker 1, which has got um, this, um, what do they call them? Do they call them files? It's on the cloud, I don't know. Uh, document, I think, is the, the way they refer to them, but whatever. Um, and and this is what's known as an assembly so all the design work uh you know the individual components is done in uh, other documents and this is just sort of compiling them so we've got you know instant looking at blobs like this so this sort of blob you know what's going on here well and for one thing it's sort of floating in space um and that's because i haven't decided exactly what i'm going to do i am thinking about and that's so many things, to be honest, there's so many things on my mind, but um, one is to actually have a floating extruder. If we have a little look inside, basically, you know, your filament comes in this hole, through some holes in the lid, and then is gripped by these upper parts of these gears. So yeah, the idea that immediately struck me is if you could um, grip both sides of the filament that's got to be a, a better idea and also the idea of gripping with serrations inherently is going to cut into the filament and we don't actually want to do that it's it's about grippage we need to get good grip on the filament and so you know my, my thought is is to perhaps print some print this bit here this groove in um flexible filament so it'll grip that way i mean pinch rollers on old tape decks work really well so and maybe i can get old some pinch rollers. that's another thought there is a lot going on but it's sort of kind of not really in a place i want to show you you know i kind of um this is the core xy which i'm making as brief uh, and neat as possible um and there are there are lots of things to be ironed out about that but I quite like the idea of, of actually making the, the frame mounts here part of the, the mounts for these. And obviously, you know, that's a notion at this, at this stage. I've had a go at uh, building up the design for this. But as many of you will know, one of the problems when designing stuff to be manufactured is you have to understand the manufacturing process. So a lot of these things are going to be 3d printed and how do you make it so that it's going to be successfully 3d printed that i've shown you before it's just the the, the gearbox for the what i'm calling the z z <laughs> the z z the i can't say it the z or z drive the z or z drive um so yeah make of that what you will oh and the, the i suppose the other thing i want to tell you is that i've had a go at getting these side panels manufactured um, and you know I'm not quite as poor as I was before um, because I've got three lovely patrons who help me uh, make these videos and so I could spend some of their money um, just getting these manufactured um, there's a place in Berkhamsted which is not far from where I live um, that wants 30 pounds an hour for their laser cutter I have got some acrylic that will do nicely but there's an outfit in uh, Milton Keynes that I've uh, contacted haven't heard anything back from um again i hinted at you know if this is successful you know there might be some real business in it for them which might be foolish i don't know but anyway that's really why i haven't done a video it's because there's just so many different things that are partially complete you know ideas um that need refining and if any of you want to get involved 
do let me know. Um, you can access these drawings um, by just having an on shape account. That's all you need to do. Um, it does ask you to, um, you know, tell them which company you're from, which is a little odd because, well, it did when I signed up. They may have changed that, of course. Um, but many of us, of course, are not coming from a company in terms of making this sort of thing. So if you're one of those people who've been very patient waiting for me to do the the next stage in the MK Maker 1, I do apologise. And I am cracking on. It's just there's nothing really to properly show yet. And as soon as there is, I'll make another video.